China is gonna shock the space industry. Let's find out how. With a reasonable chance of becoming the dominant space power in the 21st century, China is not only attempting to mimic NASA on its road to the top of the space power rankings, it is also aiming to surpass the United States. The country, as a result, is paying close attention to what forward-thinking US corporations such as SpaceX are doing in the same industry. In order to expand in space, communism is studying capitalism and learning from it. An island spaceport located in the country's southern part served as the launch site for a little Chinese rocket during the summer of this year. It was revealed for the first time in close-up images that small grid fins have been added to the upper half of this long March 2C rocket which were afterwards uploaded on Chinese social media accounts. Architecture-wise, they were nearly identical to the grid fins that SpaceX uses to fly its Falcon 9 rocket into the stratosphere in preparation for landings on its ocean-based drone ships. Almost a year after this test was conducted, China's major space contractor stated plans to develop the capacity of reusing its Long March 8 launcher, which is powered by kerosene fuel, the same type of energy that propels SpaceX rockets. The Chinese government has indicated that this rocket will be capable of landing on a sea platform by the year 2025, similar to the Falcon 9 booster now in use by SpaceX. It is not only the Chinese government contractors that are replicating SpaceX's economic model, but also the private sector. In addition, there has been an increase in the number of semi-private Chinese businesses that have stated their desire to develop reusable rockets in the future. There have been a number of Chinese startups, including Link Space and Galactic Energy, who have unveiled designs that look to be copies of SpaceX's technology. None of this should come as a major shock to anyone who's paying attention. According to recent announcements by government-backed firms in Russia and Europe, they want to build reusable rockets that are similar in both appearance and function to the Falcon 9 booster. Chinese efforts to copy SpaceX are distinguished from those of the rest of the world, in part because of the country's expansive space goals and the vast resources available to accomplish these long-term objectives. An agreement between the Chinese and Russian governments on the construction of a lunar colony was recently achieved. Aside from that, China has begun planning for the launch of crewed missions to Mars and the construction of a massive space-based solar power plant capable of providing commercial-scale electricity by 2050. He and his team are in it for the long haul, and they're in it for the win as well. According to recent successes in space, it would be prudent to take China's lofty space goals seriously given the current state of the technology. China became only the third country in history to return back moon rocks to the planet when it did so in last December. Assuming everything goes as planned, later this spring, it will strive to become only the second country after the United States to successfully land and operate a rover on the surface of Mars. A number of other space-related initiatives are being pursued by China that are gaining on the United States, including the construction of an orbiting space station, the maturing of satellite defense systems in space, and the establishment of a lunar base. Meanwhile, NASA has spent more than $20 billion on the development of a gigantic rocket known as the Space Launch System, which could become obsolete in the near future as China advances in space. Furthermore, the cost of operating this one-time-use rocket is so exorbitant that, when paired with the Artemis program, NASA's congressional budget may be outstripped by more than 43 percentage points, according to NASA. NASA may opt to close the International Space Station in a few years if the current mission is unsuccessful. Aside from that, China is preparing European astronauts to visit its enormous modular space station in the near future and is teaching them Chinese in the process. At some point in the future, several of these European astronauts may be selected to participate in the combined Chinese-Russian lunar exploration expedition. In recent years, the United States' rising competitive advantage over China has been attributed in part to the country's emerging commercial space industry, which is led by SpaceX. Using the full potential of SpaceX and other commercial space enterprises, who are seeking to travel further in space, faster and for less money than their competitors, is essential if the United States is to remain competitive. Public-private partnerships have previously been proven successful in low Earth orbit, with NASA procuring services from companies such as SpaceX, Northrop Grumman, and Boeing for transportation of products and humans to the International Space Station, which is located in low Earth orbit. The fact that China began collaborating with hundreds of companies to commercialize rockets and satellites around five years ago is one of the reasons for this partnership. As a result, in the 21st century, the space competition is less about China and NASA and more about other countries. Instead, it is a battle between the Chinese commercial space industry and the commercial space industry in the USA. 
a little more than a decade ago, SpaceX made headlines around the world when it successfully landed one of its Falcon 9 rockets, performing a technical feat that many had previously dismissed as unattainable or impractical. It has happened in the past that rocket boosters have been abandoned in the water after they have used up all of their fuel en route to space. Although it took a while, SpaceX has figured out how to land its rocket boosters upright on platforms at sea and on land, allowing it to recover and repair the rockets while also saving money. It was later decided that it would be best to combine three of these Falcon 9 cores to construct the Falcon Heavy, which is substantially larger and more powerful than the Falcon 9. The company is also conducting tests on much larger and more durable space launch vehicles, known as the Starship Spaceship, which is intended for use in future human space missions to and from Mars. The People's Republic of China revealed space plans that were surprisingly similar to those of the United States late in February. The country's space agency declared that it will develop a triple-core rocket with a design that will be similar to the SpaceX Falcon Heavy in terms of looks. As well, it confirmed plans to proceed with the launch of its massive Long March 9 rocket, which is capable of lifting up to 140 metric tons into low Earth orbit, which is the same amount as the Saturn V rocket, an American super heavy lift launch vehicle that's still the most powerful rocket to have ever successfully completed a launch mission. The Long March 9 rocket is expected to take off in the first half of 2018. In spite of the fact that this massive rocket would be unlike anything that NASA has ever built, Chinese authorities have declared that they would like it to be reusable following in the footsteps of SpaceX. They also stated that they hope to launch the Long March 9 spacecraft in the near future, which will transport its Taikonauts to Mars and return them safely. The United States and China have gotten entangled in an increasingly violent rivalry for influence and economic resources on the planet, even as SpaceX has emerged as a game-changing space business of its own. Observers predict that this conflict, which has already expressed itself in low Earth orbit, will expand to the Moon and eventually Mars over the next several decades. In the 21st century, space will come to symbolize the last bastion of geopolitical power and economic affluence in the battle for global dominance and wealth. For the time being, the United States and NASA have the upper hand since they have a more complete space program as well as a more developed commercial space industry. In recent years, however, the commercial space industry in the United States has prospered despite rather than as a result of legislation passed by Congress. Unless Congress and NASA work more closely together to embrace commercial space and build an ambitious plan for space exploration, China's determination to achieve its goals and replication of Western capabilities will overcome this edge. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more amazing content.